Raft. Today, we're going to react to another Let's Game It Out video, and I think it's his first Raft video he's ever done. But as you know, I played a lot of this game, and I understand the mechanics of this game super well. So as it plays, I'm going to try to pause and explain what he's doing and find the mechanics and all that stuff. So let's get right into it. By the way, these videos take a while to make, and so if you can, please like and subscribe. That'd be a great help. My goal is to hit 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year, and we are just so painstakingly close to it. And with your help, I know we can do it. Also, we have a memberships page on my YouTube channel, and if you're interested in supporting the channel directly, any support that we get from you helps make the future channel better. Back to it. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. We're checking out Raft today, where we have to survive on the open water forever, and I'm sure we'll have some fun along the way. So here we are in the big, beautiful world of Raft. Just you, me, this fellow, uh-huh, as well as this fun hook tool, my beautifully manicured fingernails, and miles <laughs> of debris. Oh, and this is our- Josh is just so good at explaining himself. I'm super excited to watch this one. Raft. So here's basically how this works. You have to collect resources as they go by. Stuff yep. like plastic, palm leaves, and planks. Some things like that barrel full of goodies was close enough for us to just pick up and grab. Kind of like this plank of wood or this bottle. But some stuff is just going to drift on by. And that's what this tool is for. Huh. There we go. Come to Raft, Daddy. So pretty much it's a game of just The beginning of the game is just so slow. If you've ever played Raft before, you'd understand. The beginning is just so painstakingly slow and it's very punishing as well so if you don't quite understand what to do how to manage your hunger and thirst it's actually very annoying to go through you know i'm sure it's just gonna get crazier from here and thank god for the constant state of debris in the ocean <laughs> now you might be wondering josh what about all that stuff you missed why don't you just go swim out to it i mean we can but i think you know what's gonna happen which is we have a friend down here that wants to speak to us so i think we'll just stay up here in the relative <laughs> safety of our raft and slowly collect garbage slow Slowly, slowly. Forever. For example, I think I see something on the horizon. Oh, that's an island, all right. Hey, what's that noise? Hey, let go of that. Really? Took a bite out of my raft? Well, I think it's official. I know the name of that shark. It's definitely great. Anyway, <laughs> let's check out this island. It's just so funny how quickly you name the shark. You know, you're playing this game, the shark becomes super annoying, and then you're just like, ah, oh, man, I, Samantha, I hate you. <laughs> Oops, there goes my raft. Well, you know what? I'm sure we didn't need it that badly. I mean, after all, we found land. Wasn't that the point of it all? Besides, if we need another one, I'm sure we can just build it. Right. <laughs> okay always anchor your raft always 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 especially okay in the beginning of the game the first island typically there's ways you can wedge the raft up into the island so it doesn't really go anywhere but really your ultimate goal is just to down some trees get some more food and just kind of keep shoving on the beginning of the game is all about getting the ocean materials like clutter at the top this island let's see we got flowers and trees and all of our beloved trash i think everything's gonna be okay <laughs> Wait a minute. What? How come I'm just, what happened to the island? And where's Grace to kill me? In fact, where's anything? Uh, this, this video is a few years old. I don't know if this is still the case now. They may have updated it. The world is generated around your raft. And also, the shark does not swim away from your raft. Okay, round two. So I looked it up and I figured out why the island disappears. Basically, the game is auto-generated. There it is. It's a, he's explaining raft. it now. And if you get yeah. too far away from stuff, it I was just way too fast. You know, like that island or even grace here in other words until we can actually anchor the raft we yes. gotta stick with it by island i'm sure we'll see other ones just like you okay so let's fix up our raft a it's little not bit. too to bad that, though once you get used to wedging it into the island you get used to it to our raft so we're gonna add a bunch now we at least have just a little more breathing room and while we keep pulling resources out of the water we got to be thinking about the next necessities we're gonna need right. most notably ways to take care of water and food and for that the food and hunger bars are aggressively punishing eventually you get used to the timing of it all but it's just terrible how quickly you just starve and go thirsty in here we're gonna make a simple purifier and grill oh i'm sorry did i disturb your concentration okay grace you know what that's the last one you get because now we're gonna craft a wooden spear no more yep. tasty boat treats for you yeah be scared <laughs> even though you probably don't know i'm here be i like scared. how for placing your guy just aims his finger out like yes right there whoa 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 get off that unhand that yeah that is like okay I, I know i'm pausing a lot but this is a reaction video and i'm trying to give you good content here so th this is just such a signature thing of the game like you'll be in the middle of something you know you'll be knees deep into this project you're trying to do and then the shark's like hey you know what i think now is the time to come eat your boat <laughs> until you put foundation on the outer rim of your boat this is just like i think it's every 15 minutes the 
shark will attack you. Eat you. So much commotion. Anyway, back to food. And through our harvesting, we at some point found this potato. Mmm. Meanwhile, let's point to victory and put this thing down. There yep. we go. That's how we're going to purify yep. our water. We put the salt water in this thing. It condenses on that leaf and drops all the clean water in that cup over there. While we wait for that, let's go ahead and eat our cooked potato. Looks delicious. <laughs> and that's pretty much how we stay Looks alive. Delicious. We eat literal garbage we've scavenged. That's we true. drink the delicious fresh In the water beginning of the game, you're just, just so happy with what you get. We can also make a fishing rod, which is just adorable. Let's see. We just kind of, <laughs> yes, fish, come eat another fish looking <laughs> thing. And there we go. A raw mackerel. On the grill you go. Okay, next order of business. See that island in the distance there? I feel like we're going to drift right by it. So let's see if we can't change our trajectory a little. To do that, we're going to need to build a sail. Okay, yep. let's see. Where should I? Whoa, that's pretty big. Okay, yeah, sure. That's not in the way at all. Oh, uh, yeah, it looks great. <laughs> Unfurl, my pretty. And now face the that's proper the direction. Yeah. What do you want? Okay. See, what did I say? In the, the worst timing possible, the shark has terrible timing. Stop. Stop it. Or my spear could break. <laughs> oh, you win this it's round. It's gone now. I guess I should make things a little bit bigger so I can actually see. And to make sure we can hang out where the raft doesn't leave without us, we're going to build this thing. A one-time use throwable anchor. And as soon as we're close enough, I'll just lazily dump this overboard. Now, be a good raft and stay put. <laughs> you too, Grace. So it seems like these little islands have a couple of things to offer. We got stuff like mango trees. We can yep. go ahead and just beat on yep. them for a while and collect a whole bunch of mango and other stuff. Come up, take their resources, leave nothing behind. I'm sure these trees have been here for thousands of years until I came along. Something I also haven't brought up yet is this guide thing right here. This is essentially the story component of the game. I want to believe <laughs> yeah. I'm not one of a these two, but this very paper thin right story. Here, they just kind of put me on a raft and was like, have fun. You're a forward <laughs> scout now. There's a bunch of starter rules that we already know, but here's the one I want to draw your attention to. Follow any radio frequencies. If it's still broadcasting, it's above water. A couple of things That's I actually story. found on the open water are... It takes a long time for you to actually unlock the story so when i on my first playthrough i did about 10 hours of the game just kind of figuring it out before i even crafted the the radio receiver i think that's what it's called anyways i had no clue that there's a proper story to this game i just played it and i had a lot of fun and then i crafted the receiver and i was like oh my gosh <laughs> there's an actual story here these blueprints for a receiver and an antenna so i guess this is what they meant we need to yeah. build this yeah. there's also one other thing we want to do on this island before we shove off which is let's Go take a little swim underwater. if we head on down here we can pick up stuff like seaweed and there's a couple other materials we need as well if we bash at these things right here on the wall with our tool ah metal ore yeah we got something else here ah copper as well as random scrap metal Oh, and I guess that noise is me drowning, so I should probably surface for air. You know, I don't know where Grace is. She's probably eating the whole boat right now. Oh, well, let's keep salvaging. So actually what happens when you are far away from the boat, basically the, sh the shark isn't active anymore. It'll still be swimming around the boat, but it won't start attacking the boat until you're a certain distance to it. Does that make sense? So if you're really far away, it won't attack it, but if you get closer, the AI will kick in and start eating the boat. So if you're far away, don't worry about it. To my total surprise, the raft is still there, and I think I see our next target, whatever yeah, that's that right. is off in the distance. While we slowly make our way to whatever that is, we're running a little low on space, so let's go ahead and make a small storage container. And there you go. Let's put a bunch of our garbage in there. Okay, let's see. I don't have any other anchors, so we're gonna need to be quick. Huh. Okay, let's see. We can't search anything on here except apparently this one crate, which I will take. Oh god, come back, come back, come back. Ugh, jeez. And I guess once you take that one crate, off it goes. And I guess the <laughs> oh, so says Grace. Yep, that's all I needed to to see. Let's the shark just like went and checked on it like, hey man, you okay? Including this vine goo, as well as this fish stew recipe. Cool, this looks easy to make. Two fish crying out for help, one egg, and a bucket full of glue. <laughs> Can't wait. Grace, I said stop hitting the boat. Oh. <laughs> Grace, you okay there? That is the most satisfying thing ever, is when you don't even realize you can kill the shark, and then it dies as you're poking it, you're like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Well, I guess we'll find out eventually. Nope, she's back. Welcome back, Grace. She comes okay, back. next order of business. First, let's she definitely extend comes the raft back. a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. There we go. Isn't that nice? In fact, besides supplies, is there really anything stopping me from just building all the way out here? Huh, apparently not. Something tells me this is going to get real interesting in the future. See, look how useful this already is. Just aim this plank all the way over at the island. Anchor it right <laughs> from here. Yes, surely this is going to work splendidly. Oh my god, I step away for two seconds and you eat the 
boat. In other news, I learned we can build a bed. Might as well put it right at the end of this plank. Ah, uh, yes, true. As you just go under the water. Rest, as I casually go underwater <laughs> and get a nice quick view of my ever-present companion. Oh, good. Yeah, that's gonna be perfect. Shark's like, yeah, yeah, you need to go. Still holding together through the power of muscle memory. Anyway, we need to get started on... Yeah, that's right. So when you build something from your raft and then it breaks apart, it'll still stay in tandem with each other. So you don't have to worry about, you know, breaking apart, losing part of your raft. Uh, that's kind of a fun mechanic and I have a funny feeling where this is gonna go. Building this stuff. And to do that, we're gonna unlock the research table so we can learn how to build it, which let's see. Let's go ahead and put it right. Yeah, there we go. Hanging dangerously off the side like that. <laughs> so the way we do some research is it pretty much just... So don't do that. You know, you're, if you play the game, put your stuff in the middle of the raft just because the shark eats the edges. So just be safe and put it put it in the middle. Give it an item. We hit research and it starts to tell us what kind of stuff we can unlock. So I'm just going to feed it all the random stuff I have in my inventory. Yep. Look at all these things we can now learn. <laughs> now I get to see pop-ups forever. I did notice the receiver is one thing I haven't unlocked yet because while I've unlocked planks, plastic, and hinges, I haven't researched circuit boards. We're just going to start manufacturing stuff on our raft. Yeah, it takes a while to get the receiver because to get the receiver, you need the smelter, then you need a lot of copper, and then you need a bunch of things that you forget to collect at islands, and then finally, three or four hard things later, you can get the receiver. And so it takes a while to unlock the story. Well, sign me up. Okay, so for these circuit boards, we've already researched plastic and vine goo, but we still need to unlock copper ingots. For yep. that, we're going to need a smelter. Let's see, so we could place this thing in like a logical location, or we could build <laughs> something silly. Let's see, first we got this little platform up here, and let's see if we add some random support beams here. And then we can add another wooden floor <laughs> right here. <laughs> and another stairway right here. Okay, perfect. He's just this gonna put it up there. This definitely won't lead to structural <laughs> problems. Okay, so let's just go ahead. We'll just put one here and one right off the I love like that, that okay, the game just lets you build this stupid working. things like this. Use? An amazing filter. <laughs> Obviously, letterbox. Let's With see, let's go Nvidia as horizontal as we can. <laughs> wow, that's really horizontal. Okay, maybe <laughs> not that horizontal. Okay, that's better. It's like, let's it's like you're aggressively squinting. Give it a little tilt shift. Well, this isn't the moment I meant to capture, but I guess this is your time to shine, Grace. <laughs> Thank goes you your for thing. your blessing. And how about a little watercolor? Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Now it's like we're playing a treasure map. Thanks, GeForce Now. I still can't believe these <laughs> things work here. Two giant lumps of copper just smelting away as if this is completely normal. And there we go. A perfect copper ingot. We can finally learn how to make circuit boards. And ta-da! A nice handcrafted circuit board. Just like our ancestors used yep. to make. And now we can finally build the antenna and receiver. Okay, let's see. Where do we... But it's more than that. You have to make a few circuit boards because you need to make one to research to even do that. So you have to make quite a few circuit boards to even get the receiver. I want to put this receiver. I didn't realize it came with a nice conference table too. Actually, you know what? <laughs> let's take it up here. Okay, getting better. Let's put a couple more posts up and some more floors up here. Okay, now we're talking. We're gonna put it right up there. All we need to do is just go up this little spot and then go up this little ramp and <laughs> there we go. Held up just by those barely cables hanging alone. by the okay, wires. Okay, let's see what it has to say. Well, if I'm reading this correctly, it means I need to have three antennas connected. Do you think it matters where I put them? Also, Grace, can you yes. chill on these platforms? Wait, like how lazy can I be about this? Can I just mash all three next to each other? Wow, work. not only are they too close to each other, they're at the wrong altitude. You need higher altitude? You just said the magic words. Then we'll have it turn. And then we'll have it go up this way for a little while. Yeah, so far so good. Oh my god, and I can just put a platform right up here like this? I mean, this is what they wanted, right? Oh, now it's too far? I'm not <laughs> sure what the problem is. Well, what if I go all the way over here? You know, to my open bed chambers. How would we feel about this? I mean, it runs the wire all the way back. Sigh. Also too far. I don't get it. Where do you want these things? Okay, fine. What if I just place one right here? That was good enough for you? Just one right <laughs> Right there like that, like a normal person? Okay, I set them up in totally normal places. <laughs> I'm not happy about it, but there they are. And, and he just hates down. it. He hates that he can't do it his there. way. Happy now. <laughs> okay, well, there we go. We found something. Well, let's head to it. Well, call it a hunch. I think this is probably the place. Let's see, what's the best way to anchor this? In you go. Anywhere. <laughs> well... 
All right. Good enough. That is just the you funniest thing right about that anchor. Right. It's like, like Velcro. You can just toss it anywhere. The occasional scrap. We got a whiteboard here and a note. Let's see. What did that note say? People question mark? I bet these numbers are coordinates. And it looks like we're amassing some tabs here. We got first page. We got the radio tower. And we've got vegetarian. That's totally <laughs> what it said. Don't rewind the video. Let's boot this thing up <laughs> and put it in our new coordinates of 3350. Don't rewind the video. Easy, Don't check easy. on them. Float our way to another island. Squeezy. Bye, radio tower. Come on, Grace. Let's go on another adventure. Yeah, just like that. That's what I meant. You know what? I'm getting real tired of picking up all this trash. So while we wait to get to our next destination, I have an idea. We're gonna build these things called collection nets. Collection nets are the most overpowered thing you can build in the game because it just catches things indefinitely. It will pay for itself in like 10 minutes. Automatically catches items that float into it. That is just what I wanted. Okay, so as a test, let's see how this thing goes. You trash, get in there now. Just like that. Oh, well, and that's, that's all I needed to that's see. All you Let's need. go ahead and build something beautiful. Hours later. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's working oh, splendidly. My. <laughs> there was another game I played called Buoyancy, where I built what was effectively you a giant wiper blade it. that just picked up trash. Oh, and it looks my like we were gosh. able to do that again. Because it turns out you can just keep on building. So yep. far out that when I get oh, to the end and I turn gosh. around, I you can barely see, see my proper <laughs> raft. What I'm trying to say is my days of manually salvaging oh, are long my gone. Gosh. Hello, endless. So let me explain the normal way to do this. So he, he was actually very close so what you do is with your raft in the center you build like wings and with the mechanics the trash only spawns based off of where your raft is and a certain width so if you build to the exact width of where the trash is coming in you don't need to build any farther it's 100 percent efficient so with him of obviously this is like super funny but that's how you do it the boat in the center you build the wings and that's good enough supplies oh and i'm not the oh only one that's gosh. been busy grace has made sure it's harder and harder for me to get some <laughs> sleep doesn't mean i can't can't still get over there though. After all, the best sleep is when your adrenaline is fully pumping, wondering if you're gonna <laughs> get pulled under the waves by a shark. Going. And that's the secret to sleeping like a baby. Oh, you know what? I think we're here. Although it's hard to know where here is. But thank God I can just walk right up to it. Whoa! Or can yeah. I? Oh, it's a cruise liner. You know, as funny as it would be to put down one anchor to hold this whole thing in place, I'm thinking we can just use building to do it. Just kind of hook it around this <laughs> piece work. right here. You can hook Whoa. things like that, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, easy, easy. Okay, I think we did it. <laughs> I feel like this is like the equivalent of the entire oh my raft gosh. holding on with just its pinky. But hey, it seems to be working, so let's go check this out. Corridors, great. Darkness, great. Definitely no people here. Hello? Is anyone gonna finish this game of eight balls? Okay, so there's actually a whole bunch of stuff you have to do to get up here, but the important part is I made it to the bridge. That's right. It's a lot here? of stuff. Another note? Life update. The boat is like my least favorite part of the story. Must we leave Lasagna Island to go to Balboa? <laughs> oh, and what's this? Steering wheel allows you to rotate. And what's this? Engine allows you to go different directions and increase your speed. Well, let's go make some additions, shall we? Okay, first things first, let's put this wheel down. I can think of no spot more <laughs> suited for this than up here. The high ah, up one. Yeah, that's the fantastic. Hold to rotate smoothly. <laughs> okay, we'll see about that. Huh, you know, I couldn't place why, but I think our raft might be stuck. I'll just leave this in the far right position and just go check it out. <laughs> Oh, you're fine. you're fine. Just go ahead and cut it off right here. Let's get rid of the little hook we made. Whoa, what happened? Well, seems like it's free now. <laughs> I also like all the cabling coming from my, let's call it the bridge. Oh my God, what is happening? Wait, is this the speed this thing can turn? What does this look like if oh I'm just in the water? Gosh. It looks like a deranged robot trying to escape. <laughs> That's what. Wow, I didn't realize adding a wheel would do so much. Look how like fast it's moving. Like, oh, the shark's just trying happening? to okay, keep up. Before I'm motion sick forever. And let's go make it worse by installing that motor. I don't even know how this is supposed to work. Can I put it anywhere? Ooh, stellar. Okay, let's see. Ooh. One wheel <laughs> equals a hundred dollars. Oh, and I gotta put a hundred foundation. Okay. One engine is a hundred foundation, and so obviously for him, he'll need more than one, but that's kind of how it works. I think we got a lot of those lying around. Hmm, seems like it's struggling a little bit. Oh, you know what? I think that's one wheel handles a hundred foundation. There I go again. I moved too fast. I why you're struggling. I guess we just need to add a couple more then. Okay, there we go. There's five beautiful 
beautiful thingamajigs. Let's make sure to fill them all up with wood. Yep. Oh yeah, that seems better. Okay, so I can't really tell how fast we're going, <laughs> so I guess let's just jump in the water and find out. That's really chugging, all right. Well, I bet we can all see where this is going. Hold, please. This might take a little oh, while. Okay, my there we go. Gosh. Engines as far as the eye can see. <laughs> and while I was making some modifications, I went oh, ahead and added expanded. some other fins to each and every one of the other sides. <laughs> can't have us missing out on some of that trash, right? So That's I think right. So, okay, look at the trash right now. Look at the width of where the trash is spawning. From my experience, is the maximum width that the trash is going to come at you. And so if you build your, your nets as wide as that you'll never miss trash. It's 100% efficient. Administration is in order. Oh uh, yeah, collect all that trash. Oh my <laughs> now gosh. this way, no trash gets This will be the cleanest ocean ever. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and attempt <laughs> to aim ourselves towards the big blue dot. Okay, I think that should be about good. Let's go start up the engines. You're fine. Oh boy, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> and off it goes. I have absolutely no idea if it's going fast or not. That's kind of a pet peeve of mine. So if you add multiple motors, it feels like a common sense thing that the boat should go faster the more motors you add, but that's not the case. If you can add 100 motors, it's still gonna be the same top speed. The only thing I know is I'm about to hit my face and lose a bunch of teeth. Okay, it's been a little while, but we're almost there, or at least I assume. You know, actually, I don't think we're getting any closer. And I think I know why. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. We've already oh, arrived. Yeah, we are We're just here. drilling into this forever. Well, that's okay. We'll just turn the wheel a little bit. Okay. And there we go. Easy. <laughs> easy. And now hard left. So let's see, turn how do we think thing. we're gonna get up there? This seems like an easy solution. Thank God we've been sucking up so much trash this whole time. Yeah, he's doing it. I've said this a lot in my, in my other raft reaction videos. It's super common to just build straight up to the top of wherever you're trying to go. Don't do the intended path. If you just build up, it's way faster. Okay, we made it. Oh, well, this is very serene. Hey, what's this? Relay station. Don't mind if I do. Bear coming to kill me. Don't mind if I do. He's like, I haven't seen anyone in a hundred <laughs> years. I was just coming to say hi. Ah! Mama bear coming to ruin my existence. Now that I do mind. Okay, I managed to sneak inside this cave she was guarding. I'm just gonna take whatever this is. A machete? All my prayers have been answered. And just out of spite, let's take all her mushrooms, passive aggressively <laughs> at a distance, eat them all behind her, and then maybe sneak up on her. Oh god. <laughs> okay, cool story. You know, I think I'll just take my cool chances with story. Grace. At least I know what to expect. This is actually the last story island for now in Rat. But you know, when they drop new content, perhaps we'll take a look at what comes next. Okay, that's all for it. I hope you I hope you learned something useful. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Alright, thanks. Bye.